Hello mga Mars and Pards! Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of our uh, Nurse Eye Chronicles talk series. On this part, I will be discussing my uh, survival journey here in UK. So just a quick recap lang po on my on the first part uh, I've discussed uh, my uh, struggle and I think I sh uh, I shared with you my uh, how I first started uh, here in UK so that was first in Manchester then to Liverpool and then eventually in Viral Merseyside so that's all together four years so on this series uh, I will be sharing with you all my survival on the 21 years uh, journey as a Pinoy nurse uh, here in UK so at first po, uh, I think the difficult part is decision whether to move or not so this is like a, a hard decision for me because it's transition uh, from nursing home for four years and eventually going to hospital although i am confident i will be okay because since i've worked in um, makati medical center for five years so kahit pa paano we have um we are equipped with uh, that experience at the time what uh, i think i haven't told my uh, general manager that i'm applying already in nottingham so i always uh I think twice a month or every month I visit uh, Nottingham because my sister uh, who's in Australia right now uh, they used to live here uh, she's also a nurse as well as my brother-in-law so I always visit them so ang sabi ko why not I think decide to move since I'm planning to get married na rin, so at least we can help each other so I tried to apply so I think it's like around the department that I applied which is uh, renal or kidney transplant which I have experienced back in Philippines uh, and then the second one is uh, cardiology which at the time kasi sa Pilipinas uh, we have general it's mainly general ward so in, in your ward uh, uh, dif you have different cases so we have that experience naman. I haven't uh, told them yet that I'm applying because I'm not decided yet uh, whether I'm gonna transfer or not so when I got the job they have a, I think it's a panel interview at that time uh, it's scary <laughs> kasi interview na naman pero I'm not that totally nervous kasi nga I'm not decided yet parang ang sabi ko sa sarili ko if I if I got, you know, if I, if I get the job, that's fine. And if not, this will be okay. Kasi nga, uh, I feel like I'm already settled in uh, Viral at the time. And then, obviously, I, I decided I got the job. I got the uh, decision. Uh, they called me already that afternoon or that evening that I got it. And if I'm still interested. So, I think I said yes straight away. <laughs> And then, um, obviously, the struggles on that is moving part. Although I don't have loads of stuff in a month, so you have to prepare for everything. But I'm lucky to have a very um, supportive colleagues uh, in the nursing home, which they're all like my second family. So they helped me really sorting out the van to move over here. And I even got discount uh, from that van because um, someone's uh, relative po yung driver and owner of the van and then uh the, and then the hardest part on that is saying goodbye to to her friends over there and then uh after that obviously settling here in nottingham although on that part because i got my family here i live uh, with my sister and her family for um i think a year or less than two years at that part i'm okay because I'm with my family. The struggle, I can say it's a struggle, obviously. Uh, first thing is the change of salary. Imagine from that nursing, private nursing home from 21,900 plus down to 16,000 plus starting. Because obviously you start from the bottom uh, grade. Tawag pa po namin doon is grade. Now ho is uh, level of nurses here are a band. Band 5, band 6, band 7 and going up uh, at that time we have grade uh, tawag namin is grade so um so bumaba po talaga uh, although it's okay because i'm not uh, paying uh, rent and then uh, the second the third third siguro na struggle is obviously getting along with or finding new friends or getting along with the filipinos here since may mga kanya-kanya na po silang grupo medyo nahihiya pa po ako syempre hindi ko po sila kilala at medyo confident 
comfortable na sila sa isa't isa. So, talagang naki, naki-join na lang talaga ako. Pero, I'm lucky that they are really, really, you know, they have supportive uh, group of Filipinos here sa Nottingham. And then, they're very welcoming as well. And, uh, at another one is at work because I'm the first and only Filipino working on that ward. Although, they have when I move there, they have a couple of batches of Filipinos already working. I think some of them started, or they start, I think, in year 2000. In other hospital, this Queen's Medical Center, they have, I think, 1999, the first batch of Filipinos. But in City Hospital, uh, is um, around 2000 ata nag, nag start nag hiring or 2001 if I'm not mistaken. So we have two uh, hospital here that merge into one. We call them Nottingham University Hospital. The other one is a city hospital campus which I am working, and then the other one is Queens Medical Center, which I think most of the percentage of the Filipinos work there because it's it's bigger than the other one. Another struggle I have is preparing for the wedding, getting married and looking for a house as well. All the financial issues is really, really hard. Plus supporting my parents and my brother back home. So yung financial struggle po talaga, I admit, hindi naman po ako nahihiya. <laughs> Mahihiya sa inyo. Kasi for sure, marami rin pong uh, makakaintindi sa akin ito na one loan after the other and after another, which wag niyo pong gagayahin uh, dahil uh, doon po ako nahirapan talaga how to survive. Uh, I didn't have the chance to even save money kasi talagang labas po talaga lahat. Although hindi naman po ako maluho, lahat po talaga lang talagang sa pamilya na ibigay. Oh. Obviously, with all those struggles, kailangan ako magpakatatag kasi wala na matutulong sa atin dito kundi sariling natin. Although you, I, you have your family here or your friends, but no one can help you except yourself. Papakatatag ka lang talaga. Deciding decision to move, new life here in Nottingham, financial struggles and survivals, emotional survival na I miss my friends back in Wiral. I'm missing my life there kasi I set, nasettle ko na sa mind ko na I will live there and uh, I will have a family there, start my family there. And then one of my emotional survival is uh, pa nagkakasakit yung parents mo if they are sick. I was already here in Nottingham when both of my parents uh, passed away. So both of them unexpectedly uh, died a uh, few years um, interval with each other. So yung emo emotional survival, how will you survive there plus working and uh, the emotional pain, the financial struggle. Pero lahat po yun nalagpasan ko naman uh, with the help of my family and of, of course our Lord. Um, uh, I think the one that I you are proud to survive dealing with the transition from a nursing home to the hospital. So for a different policy uh, I'm going to discuss it on my on the separate blog the, the differences between working in nursing home and working in hospital. So ano po ba ang pros and cons? So yung pros and cons lang po of moving uh, job and moving place uh, ang siguro ang masasabi ko pong uh, mga dis, uh, disadvantage nun is obviously yung homesickness mo from your friends back home kasi nga I've been there for 4 years na so I have my like uh, my second family there not just uh, my workplace also the Filipino people um doon po sa Wiral uh, malapit na kami so we are like uh, ano na eh, we are like brothers and sisters na doon yung nursing home family ko namimiss ko rin sila and then another thing yung adjust, adjustment ka na naman for another slang kasi iba na naman ang accent nila dito although it's not that as hard as in Liverpool or in Wiral Merseyside um different slang na naman uh, how many times I've been called when I first started you alright doc how are you doc or duck. Pick only your duck. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Hala, naging baby na naman ako. Buti man, hindi tao kong pig. <laughs> so, yun ang kanilang term of, uh, in Liverpool, they, they have like, you're right, love. Lagi silang ganon, no? You're right, love. How are you, love? Okay, love. I'll be back here. Hello, ducky. How are you, duck? Yun po ang parang slang na tawagan nila. And then here, obviously, uh, cheers. Mah mahilig sila sa cheers or just plainly thank you. Cheers. In Liverpool, ta. So, T-A, ta. Yan po ang thank you nila doon. And bye-bye. Uh, Goodbye. Tara. So, T-A-R-A. -A. Tara. Tara.
Pero, yun po ang sa Liverpool or Scouse uh, slang. Um, so, yun po ang disadvantage siguro. Missing my friends and uh, missing my life there in Wiral. And then, going here to Nottingham, ang, ang advantage po talaga is I'm with my family. We can help each other. Plus, yung sa work is yung growth, yung advancement yung opportunities, career improvement. So, yun po guys, for this, our second part, uh, our, my survival in this 21 years journey here in UK as a nurse. Before I end this vlog, um, of course, kilala niyo naman ang yung mamita Eileen. I just want to share you a uh, nice quote. Lagi nga nila sinasabi, always smile. I always uh, end my vlog with say, always smile. So, always remember, use your smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Kahit pa po anong pagsubok dyan, your struggle, your own struggle, your own survival, and will eventually end up to a success no matter what. We have our own uh, time. Uh, and, but it will happen. It will definitely have it happen. So no matter ang gano pa bong uh, hirap ng pagsubok, always smile. Always smile. It, it helps. It really helps. Uh, yun lang po for this vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, God bless everyone. Keep smiling and always be safe. Bye!